Justice Lamprez and Darren Whitney getting set to get things going here in what was scheduled to be fight number six tonight. This one at 155 pounds. I've seen Justin Lamprez fight quite a few times. He's always action-packed, must-see TV. This should be a fun one. You were telling it's an incredibly tough guy, too, willing to go the distance if it's taken that. He will not go away, Look, I promise. Darren, Darren Whitney is out of the team, uh, fitness fight factory coached by Johnny Bedford, who is the 155-pound lightweight bare-knuckle boxing champion. Um, that's just a mean dude, and all of his guys bring that same mean mentality to the fight. Whitney in the white and Lamprez in the black here. Lamprez opening up with some low kicks. Let's see if they pay dividends later on. I'd like to see him set him up with hands. A couple good jabs right there for both guys. Whitney seems to be pushing the pace a little bit more here. That was a good body kick right there by Lamprez. Almost turned into a knee to the face. It was. Seems to be a little back on his heels here. Whitney letting it go there. Flurry Ooh, of punches. A couple of them landing. With the counter right. Ooh. Ooh Justin Lampres chipped him. Lampres with the counter right again. Catches him and puts him on Bambi legs. Here we go. Whitney seems to be recovering here pretty good. Well, Matt, you promised us some fireworks, and they're already showing them off here one minute into this fight. Let's see if Whitney gives him a little more respect here. Justice a tough kid. Like I said, you can't count this young man out. And just to move forward on him without uh, any respect is not a smart thing to do. He found that out pretty quick. Now you're seeing both of them evenly trying to share uh, cage position in there. This is going to turn into a barn burner. I, I think Darren Whitney doing the better Ooh, job with of, a big right that hand. That is a good strike there. Ooh, and Lamprey smiling about it. Love it. He loves it. Coming to throw blows, both these guys. That's what I'm talking about. Looking like a backyard brawl, both chins going up, just wing uh, punches a winging. You know, you see so many guys now trying to protect the record and just win with the safe, but when you see guys come out there and just throw bombs, that's what this sport is about. That is what we love, taking dirt naps, right, Matt? That's right. It's hard to believe that this is an amateur fight, and both of these guys with decent amateur records, but not uh, exemplary, and uh, these, these are good uh, high-level competitors here. You see uh, good it? level change right there. Man, the way I feel about it with amateur fights, whether your record is 10-0 or 5-5, five five, you've had 10 fights, and that's a lot of experience as far as an amateur goes. It all starts over. Uh, Dust, uh, Just is doing a good job of working his way up as he gets taken down. This is high-level stuff. This is the type of thing that uh, you see at, uh, at, the, at the upper levels. Uh, that, was, people. that was a good takedown there, for sure. Because that could be the difference in this round. That takedown could have been the difference in this round for Whitney. Yeah, been pretty even so far on the beat. Both guys landing a couple big shots. I would say that more shots were landed by Whitney, but uh, Lamprey put him on the uh, on, on the on the sea legs there for a and second. There's a second takedown. That one right there could be a round deciding takedown. Whitney's got like this handcuff technique. Uh, that that uh, Justice's hand kind of golden arm. Yeah, with that golden behind arm behind his it. back. It's a strange thing. I love it. He's still got control of it. It, it's, wasn't there. it's a good thing in theory, but you really can't get much offense off while you've got your hand, you know, it's, it's just a strange position. It, it depends on how the guy's tying you up when you have that position, you know, but at the same time, the guy can't, can't be offensive, so all he can do is be defensive. As we've seen multiple times tonight, a pretty evenly matched round right there. I feel like maybe Whitney did just enough with those two takedowns to possibly right. grab round number one. And that yeah. one thing right there, having the golden arm holding that position, could have won him the round. I mean, it was only 12 seconds, but that's the difference for the judges sometimes. Also, I believe Lamprez bleeding a little bit from the nose, but like Whitney drew just enough blood. And is that something that registers with the judges, maybe judge by judge? If it isn't, it certainly should. Yeah, you know, damage is something that should be taken into consideration. And me, uh, bo bo uh, though both guys uh, no worse for the wear, they, they both look pretty right. good. To me, it depends on how much blood. You know what yeah. I mean? If, if a guy's gushing blood, pouring it all over the place, of course that's going to look bad for the judges here. But It's, it's hard to tell, too, because some guys are just bleeders, you know? Yes, yeah, like Forrest Griffin. Yeah, or, or uh, Frankie Edgar. Yeah. Have you ever seen Frankie Edgar fight without a nosebleed? Never, <laughs> never. I've never fought without a nosebleed. No, Whitney's got a little bit of swelling underneath that right eye as well. Both guys. Nice little mouse. Yeah. These guys are in a fist fight. I know. I'd love to see the boys here see who's able to keep their tempo. If they keep this pace up the whole fight, this is going to be fight of the night, no doubt. Yes. 
Aaron Whitney's super sharp, has a has a nice tight guard. He's yeah. crisp with those punches too. Good defensive motions as well. He's slipping to the left. If Lamprey's come through with the right overhand when he fakes with the jab, he's catching with that overhand. It's a sharp jab coming off. Nice and crisp. Lamprey's trying to get off a couple kicks. There hasn't really been a part of the fight for either guy just yet. It's been all upstairs. I, I just wish Lamprey's would use his range a little bit more. He's, he's cutting his punches a little bit short when he could be catching him here. And that's the difference here. Whitney is extending all the way out and getting the last couple inches on his punches for the strike. The jab there seems to be making the difference for Whitney. Every time Lamprez tries to come in, he's connecting with that jab and it's restarting his process. Looks like Lamprez is trying to time as Whitney punches with a kick. And I think uh, not, not a bad idea, but the better motion would be to punch in and then finish with a kick. Fake right there with the right leg. each other out. Whitney yeah. seems to be landing more of the punches, but at the same time, it's still somewhat even. Yeah, pace slowing down just a little bit. Those guys gave a lot there in round number one. There's nice. a good exchange. Another left by Lamprez. He's not landing quantity, but he's definitely landing quality. And when he does land, uh, Darren Whitney wobbles, and that really grabs the attention of the judges, and that's something that we no got to keep in, in mind. No doubt. Because though Darren Whitney's done a great job, I mean, he's the one who's on his back pedal now, and that one punch really changed the trajectory it, it, it of this did. round. Oh, there's a nice flurry coming hey, out from Lamprey. We saw the same thing in the first round. Whitney was being the aggressor. He got caught and rocked, and he kind of backed off a little bit. Nice sharp jab from Justice, and he's kind of taking the momentum here. Got Whitney looking for the takedown. Look, deep looking deep desperate for that takedown, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not tight enough to finish that, I would think. He's got a tight wizard on that leg. And hey, he will get the takedown. Hey. Nice body lock takedown. Nice, just don't give up. Third takedown of the match so far for Again, Darren Whitney. Right there, that's another thing right here for Whitney that could win him the round. When he's doing a good job of staying active too, he didn't just score the takedown, but he passed the guard. Now he's, now he's really got justice in a bad position, working towards the crucifix, head and arm position. Let's see if he can get that leg through. That cage wet there, he might be setting up the head and arm position. That or looking for a Von Flu, maybe? Holds Just, onto that head. Justice's guard's active. Something you would expect from a tazy, uh, crazy Tim looking disciple. Look at that Darce. He's it got is. it tight. Oh, he slipped on it. He slipped on it. Okay, that's interesting. How does that look for the judges? Nice yeah. action. These guys are really going at it. I mean, that's a tough one. I think the biggest punch landed so far of the entire fight has to go to Lamprez, but once again, another takedown for Whitney, and he controlled the last minute of that fight. Yeah, and I've got to be honest, I forgot about that big punch in the in the first round. You know, that, that could have scored big with the judges, yeah. and rightfully so. It's hard to say what's going on in this fight, but definitely good competition, that's for sure. I'll tell you what, Whitney's face showing it a bit more here. Uh, we'll see if we can get a shot of him there kind of looking in the corner. You can see hey he's man. taking some damage. Another, it's, it's an impressive fight nonetheless. Again, it seems like Whitney seems to be connected more. Lampress seems to be connected with the more effective punches. I feel like Whitney's still in it with the takedowns, but at the end there, he got the sweep. He was in there, in there on top, landing the punches. Um, oh, I'd hate to be a judge again. Well, let's be real about this, guys. All of the fights so far have been incredible. I mean, we've got three finishes. We had a fight go the distance that was a slug fest, and now we've been blessed with this one right here. This has been a tremendous card so far this for AKA needs a raise. Yeah, I'm telling you, he Bishop Promotions. This was a good fight. Good job so far by Bishop. It's been a packed house here at the Horseshoe River Dome as right of passage eight transpires right in front of our eyes. Bro. Round number three between Justice Lamprez and Darren Whitney. We're only on fight number five. That's right. We got a long number ways five. to go here. Every one of them has been awesome so far. We were scheduled for 14 fights tonight. We're down to 12. Two will not happen. Darren Whitney getting back to where he was earlier in the, in the, in the uh, second round, trying to rely on that nice long jab, Chris punching. I mean, I think both guys could feel like they're winning or losing going into this round, honestly. If it's me, I'm telling I'm telling my guy, you got to win this round. Yep, yep, Every, I'm telling the guy that, you got to win this round. There's you another take down. take down again. Darren Whitney doing a good job penetrating and getting his hands together. Here's scores the, the takedown. Here's an advantage most people don't think about. Whitney's actually in his corner. He's got Coach Johnny Bedford right there in his ear. Uh, DJ Doyle both right there. 
ready to give him tips. Lamprey's can't hear us corner from this point. DJ Doyle was expected to fight tonight. His opponent, Danny Pena, unable to make his trip to the Octagon, so Doyle will instead uh, be off the card. Justice Lampras doing a good job of staying active here. He's not, uh, he's settling, certainly not settling and, and uh, you know, just sitting in this position, trying to get his underhook, trying to work his guard from underneath and wiggle free. Trying to stay active here, but so is Whitney on top. It's hard to stand a fight up as long as both guys are working. He's looking for the arm triangle, trying to switch to the mount position. Let's see if he holds his poise to try and stick with the submission or go over and try to decide to throw some strikes here. It's going to be a difficult one to finish from this spot. Yeah. If it's me, I'm trying to tie up that arm around the back of the neck and I'm trying to drop some blows yeah. and do as much damage as I can. Definitely. That's exactly what I was just thinking. I'm not even the expert here. Darren Whitney on top, though, secured a position and definitely looks good to the judges. It doesn't take an expert to not win a fight. That's right. Hey, know. punish somebody, right? Make the other guy look You're worse than great you. Job, I yeah. I'm, I'm loving it. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah. Quentin Henry and UFC flyweight Matt Danger Schnell. I'm Tyler not so dangerous. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I like that. I like I'm it. Appointed. We're having some fun in here. Got two pros on my left and my right, and we got a couple. Really good amateurs right here in the octagon right it now. Looks like Darren Whitney trying to trying to squeeze this out, but uh, Justice Lampras uh, has his has his elbow in a good position here. He's going to decide to sit up and try and strike. Let's see if he can get the, the back, back here. position. Almost. Lampras almost slipped out right there. Thirty seconds here. I think if Whitney's able to control the rest of this round, I would say he's got this fight. Yeah, there's no way you can give this round to Lampras. Definitely not. Lampress hanging in tough though. This yeah. kid is uh, full of grit, that's for sure. He's shown well here. It's just been Whitney. Whitney's showed better wrestling. That's really what it's come down to. He's so. been able to, to be opportunistic with his takedown attempts. And uh, even even that one, it wasn't a great timing, but he, he pinned him against the fence, got his hands together, hoisted him up, and grounded him. Man, I'd love to see five rounds on this one. I'm telling you what. I really would. Well, it feels like that one certainly had to go the direction of Darren Whitney, at least in the final round. We'll see what the judges think as back-to-back -back fights. Go to the scorecard. Jabbing, scooping and slamming, hanging and banging, we are going to the judges' scorecard. Ladies and gentlemen, all three judges have seen this fight the same way. Therefore, declaring your winner by unanimous decision. Fighting in the red corner, Darren D. -D So Darren D-Day Whitney gets it done for his fifth win inside the Octagon. And let's be honest, it was all about the wrestling and the takedowns there that ultimately won him that fight, Matt. Absolutely. Uh, Darren did a good job. He was opportunistic, uh, made the most of his moments, and was able to eke out uh, two of the three rounds. He did a great job. 